stay the night. Swear I'm in love with you. That's hard. You know that I'm in love with you. That turn a lot of love on another level. It's hard. Like, Come on, man. You started using my lives, man. I be living like a title fight. Have a seat on the wall like a wall of fire. She wet me up like a wall of fire. This gon' make it. Baby, don't do it for stay the night. Swear I'm in love with your body tight. You know that I do your body right. Who else will call you the way of life? I make it drill like a broken pipe. I see her like a title fight. Had the sheets on the wet like a water fight. She wet me up like a water fight. Make it drill like some heat on a bag of ice. Hit from the back, cause that ass nice. Little watch the skin glow in the moonlight. I like her cause she the freaky type. She be box on it, that's been on my mic. Yeah, girl, you know that's the shit I like. Let me fuck you good and put it in your life. Stroking it, I make it cascade. Hit it in the daytime, make a matinee. Smoke on this leap and sip the deuce. Say, she know I hit it hard, Bobby Boucher. Like Marquette, I done hit 12 plays. Trying to go me back up with my juice face. She's but they talk about some. How you do that? I ain't do it. I got the connect. She with me up like a wall of fire. Get her with my man. You making these joints and they hard too, ain't they? She said, How you do that? <laughs> Yeah, this is about to turn a live up. I'm about to start using this shit, bro. Walk with me up like a water fire. Baby, come through it for stay the night. Swear I'm in love with your body type. Me and me, I'm in love with your body right. Who else fuck on you the way you like? I make it drill like a broken pipe. I be in love like a title fight. And this shit's so good like a water fight. Make me feel like a kid at the Yeah, that's a bad motherfucker. Going, it's still going up, bro. Oh, he did it. GoDaddy is a partner that always puts you first. Oh, Daddy, what's up? Start today at GoDaddy.com. Uh, oh. There we go. Yeah, street government. Hey, street government. Mr. Street government in the building. You already know the street, baby. You in the building. We'll write a chart. You already know it. Hey. Yeah, like, you like, like, you, uh, you remember what you said? Oh, way like PCP. Don't just like DPG. Got pussy number 23. Down in Dallas, page of PDP. Got the game in the DDT. With the money team like TMT. My hustle can't I don't even know how. I literally start writing it like that. And I just finish the rest of it like that. I thought that would be clever. I ain't never heard nobody do it. So I thought it was stand up. When you go to check my PBG, you burn a nigga like a DVD. Paint a nigga face like ICP. I body you before you try to me. I'm usually chilling with a BYC. So 100 for real. Black bitches say I'm all they need. White bitches want my BBC. All these bitches try to cuff a G. Yeah. Fuck a good, she say you stuck with me. Yeah, salad back a million HOT. Flow on Fahrenheit 103. Got Hurricane and Plus be flooding me. Now they keep a lot of blood like Kenny G. You been saxophone, how she be treating me. I'm the bomb walking TNT. That snow is still don't call it happy feet. How I'm pimping should have been with PNC. No, these niggas can't you know fuck with me. Yeah, that shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it's all stick, though. No, all of the sticks. You know what I'm only only real people that study music can appreciate that. Cause all the Barbies wanna fuck with me, yeah. No, these niggas cannot fuck with me. Fuck with me. No, these niggas can appreciate that. Even though no, no, these niggas cannot fuck with me. The same only niggas wanna fuck with me, yeah. Niggas bitch and give it to my I'm killing shit, bring it to Fact, fact. It's like it's like the ass mixed with the with the bars made made that bitch roll up. It was a good puzzle. Bitch ain't trying to fuck tonight. I tell a swerve like a DUI. Gotta watch out for the FBI. For the fed pictures, I be camera shy. These rappers are you saying? Oh, yeah, get up with me. I just send me some pieces on your shit so I can hear it. I fuck around and end up doing life. When you up, these niggas think it's shice. In your bag, you might find a knife. Of the enemy, come my flow is nice. Niggas say he hollered, don't believe the hype. Went on a run while on PSI. Yeah. 2011, I did that time. 2016, he called another crime. Took out for some shit that wasn't even mine. Real shit, you can look all that shit up too. Don't check every line. Or the beef, nigga, you can dive and take up on a barrel, that's a side of fries. Make him an angel like Anaheim. Please do not fuck with my dollar sign. Trigger get squeezed like it's living lime. Bitches on me, come my spice of blind. 
I'm in your bitch cause she think I'm fine Keep her on the knees like she got a shrine I know she a freak cause I know that kind Want that pussy powder like a metal bud No these niggas cannot fuck with me No No these niggas cannot fuck with me No No these niggas cannot fuck with me No Cause all the Barbies wanna fuck with me Yeah No these niggas cannot fuck with me No these niggas cannot fuck with me On the on real side I think this this song gonna do a lot for me lot more than that video this is this 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 is one of those. It is, and it's a it's a crowd favorite every time I perform. Like ever since I've been performing, everybody fuck with this thing. I was No, one hundred. You did. You did. You you was hearing it when I was performing it with the straight bars before I even put like we recorded the words on from this. Because I was still I was still doing shows. And with just the beat, and I'm doing straight live performances. Yeah. But I'm like, they don't respect that no more. Yeah, I'm so. just, I know you play in the background. All right, <laughs> all right, so look, I ain't the usual host. Just filling in for my man Gam. Yes, so, sir. We in the house today. I know we ain't doing proper intro, my man. Dude, that's his thing. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna say is, you know, I'm ready to start. I'm filling in for my man Gam. Yes, sir. Already know my man's game. Yes, you know sir. What I'm and then right now we got a special guest in the building, Mr. Street Government. You know what I'm saying? Style of Mac and Millie. Appreciate so, that. This is how we that. usually are to start off. Uh, yeah, sure. We run down the week and you know, uh, my man not here because happy anniversary yeah. to my nigga gang. Happy you know anniversary, gang. Weekend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my weekend been getting ready for this tailgate and trying to make sure we got back with you. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Got the filter for you. And on um, camera, I apologize that I missed the first day, too, man. Oh, no problem. It's, that's, it's, I was it's, like, it's shit, I'm like, the days, the days ran yeah, together. Like it that's was a bitch running together. I'm like, shit. <laughs> and that's why <laughs> I got to get back with my man. It's because I, uh, I see your feed. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of stuff going on. 100. You hit two, three spots before, you know what I'm saying? You can get a chance to get your phone. Facts, facts. So, uh. It, it ain't no problem, you know. It's all new in the game. People make their efforts to do what yes. they can do. So yes, you're here today. Yes, sir. Uh, Ray, how was your week? You back to school with the with, yeah, with, man. No, we, uh, we ain't gotta uh, tell everybody. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no we, I, I, I went back to work. School bus yeah. driving. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. I don't even tell you that like, because they ain't they been in. It ain't nothing wrong with it. it ain't embarrassing yeah. or nothing like that because I, I like doing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's money, you know? shit. Yeah, but I, I but ultimately I like doing it because you know what I'm saying. You get to kind of grow. So, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the uh, you, generation, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, you you get to put a little game yeah, in it. Get, get a hand in it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and then, like, you, you let some of the, the trouble ones, like me personally, I let some of the trouble ones know, look, you a young black man. And, this, and they really don't care about you. you. Facts, facts. You know facts, what I'm saying? Facts. They only care about you if you got something. That you got man, and you off. need that, man, because you know we don't get a lot of that. For real. Yeah, yeah. So I try, you know what I'm saying? If, and if they listen, they listen. If they don't, then. I mean, what can I you do? You planted the seed. That's all, all you do, could I, do. All I can do is say I tried. I did my part. You know what I mean? Right. But uh, you, my week was cool, though. You, are you a sports fan? What's your team? Who you I'm fuck with? I'm a sports fan. I'm not really. Oh, we still my me and him. Uh, I mean, yeah, I rock, I rock with all the uh, city sports. You know what I'm saying? Cavs, Indians. Uh, what, what's what's the other one? <laughs> I mean, we got the, we got the Monsters. There, yeah, we got the Lake Erie Monsters. The, you know? Can't forget the Browns. Indians, they're the garbage. Oh, shit. Uh, you know what? That's I'm the, I'm a descent, damn it. I'm a native. And I look just like the Chief Wahoo man. Look. <laughs> I'm still rapping. I'm the Indian, nigga. I'm the, I'm the Cleveland Indian. Shit. <laughs> I'll be trying, every time I hear it. No, it's the Guardians, though, yeah. yeah they, I'll they be trying, every time I hear the Indy, I'll be like, it's not the Indy, it's the more than Facts, I mean, facts. Just, that's, been, that's been that all our life. Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. And, though, it's history, though. Because they was here. They was here, even Ohio. Oh, yeah. Everything, all this. First, all ours. Ohio, Ohio is, is an Indian, Indian word. word. Period. Ours. Indian, Indian it's word. It's all ours. Michigan, all of this is Native Indian. word. We're going to say native. native. Facts. Native. native. Our, exactly. Our, our, our you know Michigan. what's going on. Exactly. Native Americans. Native, yes. Me. No, just Native. Us. I ain't going to call them a Native American. Native people. Native. They hear before the word America even arrived. Facts. And America is named after some chick. Facts. That nobody but they made a treaty with, with this corporation, so they are considered well, they nationals to America. To make a treaty. Yeah, I mean, it was a gangster shit. Yeah. It was a peace treaty, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Hey, they didn't get you peace. They didn't get the peace. Day. They just got a peace. Right. Yeah. They didn't get peace. They just got a peace. Just, it's peace right here. Facts. Stay right here. Nah, you, you yeah, cool, right. It was, it was cool. Yeah. You want to stay right here? <laughs> so, uh, so I already have really too many questions lined up, but 
I do have some, a little bit of my head that I came up with. For sure. So in your song that you, in, in the song No, right? Yep. You mentioned that you had caught a charge that wasn't yours, right? Yep. Was that out of like, like love or respect for the person? Oh, no, that was actually. Or it was because you didn't know no better. Oh, no, the nigga set me up. Oh, that's fucked he up. He dogged me. So, Damn. To, to, to try to make a long story short, um, I was around somebody that was supposed to be like family. It was like my cousin's wife, brother. Okay. And I was actually doing a favor. I was, they woke me up out my sleep to drop them off. And he had the shit in the trunk. Now, mind you, the police got behind us while I'm dropping them off. And then I dropped him off, though. He leaned the shit in the car. I don't know it's there. I'm thinking I'm sky free, so the police pull me over. I show them my 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 uh, license and everything. I'm right, talking to them right, like so, I don't know. So before you, you go too much, because we don't everybody don't need no, no facts. 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 So I'm I'm only bringing this up just because I know a lot of young black people don't, or just black people period, or young men don't know the law mm -hmm. and don't know that they giving up rights and et cetera type shit. And you know and, and, and that's another thing. So what what saved me because I could have got a whole lot more time. When they took me to the office, cause like I didn't know what was going on, so they tried to get me to sign papers and some motion. They tried to get me to sign a paper there to sign a waiver of my rights, and I didn't sign. It. Right, right, yeah. Because like one, they don't have the right to search a vehicle. They have no probable cause. They did. You nope. know what I'm saying? So that probably saved me too. But them searching it without giving consent probably saved you also. Because but if you would have known, they wouldn't have searched anything. Fact. They would have just gave you a ticket. Well, it was, it, was, it was a whole lot of shit and discrepancy. The car I was driving was in the store name out there. They already had dealings with him before, so it's like I was just oh, okay. You know, but still, though, you you driving facts. You know what I'm saying? License. It don't matter who car it is. No, for you sure. Ain't doing nothing. Not a damn thing. They but, had no problem. I wasn't smoking no weed. Like, I wasn't even smoking no mild at the time, so they had no probable cause. Yeah, it don't life. matter who. It, it could be it could be El Chapo's car. You can't search it. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But besides all that, like doing music motivated you to, to tell your story of, of how your experience of life in it? Or Fact. is it just because you like music or both? It's therapeutic too at the same time. You know, I um I don't try to put too much stuff in my music because I don't want to incriminate myself. But no, no, I do want to make it that. authentic. Yeah, because there's some dumb niggas out here. No, for that. real. But I, I want to I wanna give, like I said, I want to drop some jewels sometimes so maybe I can save somebody from not going through my same situation yeah. or I can inspire them, you know? You never know. Yeah. So yeah, I just I just like, I mix a little bit of real life into it. Not too much, but like, you know, enough that they can see that it's coming from an authentic place. I think that's what's up. Now I do have to say you have you have a performance. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys just get out there and walk back and forth and just or stand there, look or stand look, there, just look goofy, just 100. look goofy. One hundred. <clears throat> but I see you interact with the crowd. I see you put on for the ladies because you always ripping your shirt. Off. Always, I got the pop the time. I, you know, oh, I ain't man, working hey. out for nothing, baby. Oh, man, but that's it. Hey, <laughs> hey, nigga. hey, it's no performance that I've seen him without his shirt on. <laughs> like, he always, I mean, he might start with that motherfucker on, but once no come on, that motherfucker is gone. It's like, gone. Like, yeah. If there's enough ladies in the house, it gotta happen for sure. Yeah, and then sometimes I think I don't know. Probably just be making niggas jealous or something. I don't know. Or I do, or man. It's motivation. It can be motivation. But too. no, I do. Cause you, you done held a few spots at the captivate. They don't let me pop my top. No, no, no. That's that's just over with. Yeah, there. Them <laughs> they be mad as fuck. Nigga. They be like, no, you got. But they blew. Shirt on. They blew down on me in between my performance and told me to put my shirt on. Yeah, yeah. During your performance. During yeah. the performance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they be they be they be they don't really like that there. What up, gang? Uh, What's up with the guys? I don't think I'd have had my shirt on. I was waiting. They could have got me to put my shirt in the middle of my front. But, oh, but the spots I be at now mostly, they, they don't care. You know Ooh, yeah. He remember. Crazy. As long as you ain't doing nothing crazy, they don't, they don't mind. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, I don't ever come in there disrespectful. All I do is just perform. That's yeah, it. Yeah. I guess I, I look too aggressive when I pop the top. Like, <laughs> like yeah, oh, this nigga like, crazy. I ain't no even some ninja turtle. Right. right. <laughs> oh, he got down to, he got 30 of on his arm. This nigga, yeah. <laughs> he with the shit. Yeah, got a whole break. We, break, we, break we got, we got a concealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. That's what's up, though, man. And uh, what's your favorite part of doing music, though? 
my favorite part of doing the creating, honestly, for real, because like writing and recording and shit like that. Yeah, just me, just being able to manifest a song out of my mind. Cause me, I just, I know how to make beats too, so I write a song sometime. And then I think it'll be like maybe if I'm using a sample or something. Like I have a whole so you, song created in my mind so before I actually. Different. You just do it different way. Like yeah. Because like I used to do, I used to, sometimes I used to just write and sign it. Mm -hmm. and I do, I do and that sometimes. Then when the beat come up, then I just, you know, say a little bit of it. Oh, let's go with that. Cool. For sure. Or sometimes just put a beat on, write. I do that too. And, I know, do that too. Create it around the beat. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and then, I know you've had this a couple of times. You probably done wrote something with a whole nother beat, whole nother idea, whole nother vibe. And that verse goes with a whole nother song. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Flip five yeah. verses, yeah. Like put verses here and choruses here. Yeah, I do yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. I got so much material, like sometimes I write with a you know, a whole song idea, and then sometimes I write with just verses. Just portion of verses. I have sometimes sixteens I write. I have some twenty eight bars I write. I have some it's just however I feel at the yeah, time. Yeah, There's sure. really no method to the madness on it's just however I feel. For sure, for sure. So what do you do to prepare for these midnight shows? How did you <laughs> He's a midnight show? How did you because the thirty five we're about to be 35. Okay, because... Literally in a few days, too. September 13th, birthday coming up. Who want to give me birthday present? Oh, that's messed up. That's messed up, because you ain't get the memo. Uh-uh. Because of the weather this summer, the Leos have commandeered... Commandeered the All of September. Oh! September, they ain't doing no celebrating for the Virgo. Well, see, I got an animal line spirit, too, though. You know what I'm saying? Don't leave me out there. Come party if you can come. Oh, I, 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 I got the I got the animal lion spirit too. Shit. Yeah, right. So what, what do you yeah. do? Because hey, all the late night shows that I go to, I gotta take a nap. I'm I'm I'm, I'm on the other side of the forty. So <laughs> what do you do to prepare yourself? You know what I'm saying? You, I know some niggas like to blow the bag. Some I done seen some of them that have a little butter on their toes. I, I, I smoke. For I, get, I get a little, <laughs> little butter on their toes. Yeah, for I, get, I get I get me a little smoke in there. But sometimes I don't smoke though. I can come in just you know natural. I don't be high or nothing, and I come perform. It just I, my energy like that. I just be prepared to perform. And some people don't for real. That's why they now get, now you know, probably probably the things that I do on a daily probably incorporates for that like you know i meditate i uh you know i eat healthy and stuff like that so i'm i'm energetic just you ain't one naturally you. no i ain't vegan I, I like meat man I, okay. I, I ain't i ain't got that far into it yet because i still like chicken like <laughs> right, yeah. I, I ain't I yeah chicken. i ain't let go of that chick but i don't eat no pork no. like i don't eat no pork at all like you eat, you eat pork I eat it. Yeah, I, He's yeah, I think you did. You talking to me before. When I hey, listen, I grew shit, up eating pork. My mom do still eat pork. I don't, I don't judge. But I would say too much anything is bad. Yeah, too much yeah, anything. Yeah, so, for sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I try not to go hard, too hard. You know what I'm saying? For sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah my diet that's is That's why I eat everything because you get tired. Yeah. No, you're supposed to eat in variety. And, and hamburger and pork. Brown beef. I like spaghetti. seafood. I, I suck so with you, the crab you, you, legs, shrimp, lobster. You, 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 you seafood? Yeah. Okay. You don't fuck with the seafood? I, I only fuck with selected fish, and that's about it. That's the part. Of and I gotta, I'm, I think I'm gonna start back eating fish because I, I don't eat fish. Like, I don't eat, like, no like fish. Like I don't it. like it. I don't, I don't eat tuna, none of that shit. I don't eat Tuna no is fish. not really. Well, I don't, I, like, when I was young, like, my mom used to cook it's white cool. men, and, and I, I don't like fish. I don't. I don't like the taste of. It. I try to eat it like like. I don't like the taste of, of shellfish. Shellfish. Yeah, I don't really like that shit. Yeah, people people say the shellfish is a fishier taste, and I ate both, and I don't know. It's something about the crab meat, the butter and garlic butter <laughs> sauce. That should be tasting amazing. I don't know. Hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> everybody different. You know what I'm saying? For I sure. can't. Sure. But you know. It is what it is. I think I'm gonna start back eating fish though, because fish is naturally good for you. I got the omega. Yeah, I'm making. I focus on the most salmon. Yeah. I, I think that's the most uh, healthiest fish to eat. Yeah, I, I focus on that the most. I just, I just like uh, sear it. Yeah, with, uh, together with some butter mm -hmm. and season it with some lemon pepper or some shit like that. Man, that's how cool. Lemon, on, lemon, on a stir fry, lemon pepper. Man, listen, lemon pepper is for the ladies, <laughs> bro. Listen, 
Lemon pepper. Let's go I don't back. really like lemon pepper though. I don't, I don't, know, I don't really like it. It's, yeah. not, it's not something I use all the time. Lemon pepper. Sometimes. Sometimes. I'd rather Sometimes garlic, I'd rather garlic. I rather garlic butter and like take like take Italian. A, take a stand with me and get rid of this lemon pepper so we can get our whole chicken wings back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hold chicken wings. He's so great. He's so sick of this shit. I'm going to hold chicken wings. What up, Mike? Anybody who had chicken wings in the city of Cleveland, if you wasn't selling whole chicken wings, wasn't nobody coming in there. No, facts. No, no. They sell a piece of the chicken wings. Right. Chicken, chicken, and then they call it a wing. And they, get, they charge you a whole dollar. The whole dollar for the wing ding, yeah, though. Yeah, 25 right. cents for the sauce. You dirty what? motherfuckers. You <laughs> <laughs> the sauce on there for free. Dirty. Yeah, you that's charge, what, 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 I eat the whole way. I'm with you. you. I eat the whole way. charging me whole joint. wing price. I don't give no fucks joint. about no lemon pepper. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I, see, look, I, I'm going to start some shit with this nigga and this lemon pepper. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, though. No. Like, I, I don't even got no more lemon pepper. I had that oh, same lemon shit. pepper seasoning for like a year. That's, oh, how, gee, that's how much I eat this shit. I don't fuck with it that much. But sometimes, you know. Just a little different, a little spicy. To me personally, I like, I like my home. wings hot or or the garlic parmesan joint. No, that's the best one. Them, them joint be Yeah, that's the best one. Garlic parmesan. parmesan. Yeah. Hell yeah. I like mine done in the front of me. I don't give a fuck what's up. <laughs> nah, I got, <laughs> I got, I got to see it. No, because like, I, I don't really eat barbecue sauce. I don't eat ketchup. Like, about the only thing I eat is mayonnaise and mustard. No, I'm talking about only, that's the only <laughs> sauce that's on freaking barbecue. I don't, I don't like honey barbecue. <laughs> that's different. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, like, I don't know like honey barbecue. I don't know nobody to do it. I don't know nobody, don't know do nobody it. personally. I don't, I've yeah, never yeah. seen nobody I, I say that. that before. You seen people put ketchup on chicken? Hey, look, yeah. one time, I've seen people do stuff that had me like, what the fuck is you doing? Imagine, imagine it being barbecue sauce, but the ketchup. Yeah, people make barbecue sauce and ketchup, but that shit nasty too. Yeah, like some people do that shit. Yeah. Like when I was younger, I used to mix ketchup and mustard together because it tasted kind of. See, that's how I eat food. hot dog. I gotta eat the ketchup with the mustard on the hot dog. Like, I can't eat oh, straight mustard. I really don't need to eat hot dogs like that. I, really don't I don't. That's what I said when I used to. That's yeah, yeah, pork. Yeah, no, I don't eat dogs. No, they got beef ones and shit, yeah. but I don't fuck with them. I don't really fuck with the doggies, though. I'm not. I I, I don't fuck with hot dogs or, or bologna. Barbecue. <laughs> no, only hell. Bro. That shit cool. was terrible. The fuck we get here? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> bro, oh, no, no. No. Since we did sidetrack, I wanted to hit. One time, uh, I got some people who uh, said they want some lasagna. I was like, I know how to make lasagna. They was like, hey, we about the stuff. We got full step curl. We gonna go. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna cook this shit. Y'all got. I cook this shit. The moment I pulled it out the oven, they went in the refrigerator grab some ranch dressing. I said, we about to do that. We about to pour it on the lasagna. Oh, they well, was on the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, they was they, so you gonna force me to eat? They that? was. Acting. Oh no, they got half. They got half. No, no, you can't put. No, they no. put. You put whatever you want on the half. I give you. Yeah. You put whatever but you I'm want. Saying, that just don't make sense. But, that's unnatural. But they yeah. was like, no, we gonna pour they it on the whole thing. I was like, what? <laughs> they, they was like, yeah, yeah. My whole family do this. Your family do this, but your family didn't cut this. Y'all not about to do that to this. Stop it, man. What is your uh? Cause I know you got an album out. It was, it was like 2019 when it. You talking about the uh, the EP joint? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what is your next one? Your your most recent one? Your, your so next I, uh, I think I'm gonna drop me another EP. Cause I you know I think everybody wait. I've been dropping singles every month though. Yeah. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drop me another EP. But the plan is I'm gonna drop a a, a, a like a two disc type of album. It's gonna be like a, a volume one, volume two. To um an old series that I used to uh put together called the Hood Espionage Mixtape, but it's gonna be like an album version. Okay, so you you gonna drop both at the same time, or yep. you gonna do something like? Nope, both at the same time. Okay. But the album album that I'm preparing for is gonna be called The Angel with a Dirty Face. Right, it's not I'm hip. I remember you uh mm -hmm. you did a light promotion on. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I, you know, I've been. Cause ever since I met you, man, what two, three years ago? Yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been about a couple of years, yeah. Yeah, ever since then you've been been solid. You know what I'm saying? You've been Appreciate cool, that, bro. Been humble, you've been chilling. You ain't never gave me no fucked up vibe, no, mm -hmm. no, what's up with this nigga type of feel, or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So that's why you know I, I rock with you like that, and then I, I, you know, I do listen to your your music often. You know, whenever. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate and, you know, it too. my own time, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't listen to everybody. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of chicken. I don't just be like, just because you can clean, I'm listening to you. It ain't, it ain't none of that with me. Mm 
Real shit. Sure. Well, I listen. I, listen. I, I will I, give you a shot. Yeah. And plus, you know what I'm saying? I do showcase. So I, I run across so many people. I done probably, in the last two two years, I probably ran across 400 artists. How many? Three, maybe three. I'm going to say 300. How many have had music for you when you asked for it? <laughs> he said crickets. <laughs> I, I, I done gave a couple niggas a game on how to make money off that music, too. Like, solid game. And they don't listen. They don't be ready. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you one example. And this for anybody. This, 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 I, I mean, like, niggas don't think like me. What, what I would do today, in today's world, on selling my music, hey, let me get a dollar, I'll email you a song. You like this song? Give me a dollar, I'll email it to you. Now, the greatest thing about emailing is you can keep it any as long as you want. Mm -hmm. And you build a list. Yeah, that. And know. any device, you can download it to. You know what I'm saying? You can send it to anybody. Yeah. You can have it. You can do whatever you want with it. And you only pay the dollar. Now he gave it to you for free. Yeah. So you can get it from in the post for nineteen ninety nine. Right. I got way, I got more ways. I'm just giving a little bit of sauce. This, I got more ways. For sure. But motherfuckers like that that right there is the easiest way. You feel what I'm saying? Right. That that remind me I ran across a young dude and mm. I got this my family do this whole say this, not today. That works for anything that you know is some bullshit coming your way. Right. right. So I jump out in front of the uh, store. And I hit a young dude with a with his little spiel. I hit him with the so before he got out. Not today. <laughs> you know what I'm like, I'm like, he looked like he was probably about like maybe 20 years old, 21 years old. I was like, you know what? I said this out loud. Today, yeah, today. Come here, let me hear it today. I want to hear what I want to hear what you said. What you what you said. He told me he was homeless, you know what I'm saying? He gave me a little blah day blah spiel. And I was like, that's what you got? I was like, my dude, how old is you? He was like, I'm 20, 21. And you out here begging for change? Man, go get a job. So what you do? You got you got some type of talent or something? I rap. Where your music at? He was one of the only people that I done ran across all. And you got some music. He was like, boop, boop, boop. I'm like, oh, you got a phone, bitch. You brought your home. You got a phone. I ain't gonna ask no questions. But he played his right. music. He, he had it like as soon as I asked for it. For sure. I was like, okay, I, I don't really want to hear the rest of your music. But this dude, you young. The spiel you trying to get these niggas, a, 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 I'm, I'm a, no, listen, time's hard. I make music, you know what I'm saying? Could you help if I let you hear this song, let you hear a couple songs if you like one, could you spare a dollar? One. He, he, he was like, oh, I'm going to try that. And he was like, not on me. <laughs> <laughs> Go get the next I just gave you a damn game. You know what I'm saying? gave you a little game. Like, see, like, right now, like, like I said, the email thing. Like, 10 years ago, and I mean, you could have did it 10 years ago. Ooh. But nobody, no, I wasn't thinking like this. Wasn't nobody using email like no, that? No, no, not everybody using email. This, you got to have email to have social media. It's part of your life now. Fact. Yeah, you got to have email to have social media. Fact. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of a lot of people, it's millions of motherfuckers that got social media, so they're using the email mm -hmm. yeah. for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? A one dollar for one song on your email? Shit, you give me five dollars, I give you six songs. Something like that. Whatever you got going on, it's just like selling dope. For sure. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you a hustler, you gonna find that way. You gonna find to a way to get bread. people. Because get ain't no way people. in the fuck that I'm gonna be doing a hundred thousand streams and only get a thousand dollars because of it's a, a penny or less no, facts. for a stream. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? All right, nigga. Let me get a dollar and you go song. And people got to do their business, their music business together too, so they can get the royalties and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, kind of BMI and all that, that type of yeah. shit. Yeah. The all that. Yeah. Song yeah. trust, uh, what's the other one? Sound exchange. Yeah. See, yeah. see but that teaches a lot of niggas some things. Man. See, but teaching teach a lot of things, things. teaching people things, don't necessarily. Okay. If they don't apply, no, it ain't so gonna this mean. This is what happens. <laughs> right. Okay. Say Ray and I both drop an album. And he did something that I didn't do. So I'm gonna try to tell you what to do. You might want to listen, but you heard Ray's story. The Ray did something else. You get the people who be like, "Well, somebody told me that that don't work." Stop listening to what somebody told that's why, you. That's why off camera when I was like, "Everything don't work for everybody." Yeah. It's because I do something 
Fact. Ain't gonna work for you. Yeah. Fact. And same with you. But that's why I give me. people the ideas because sometimes the idea it didn't work for me, but I know this idea worked. It worked, I know it work for somebody. somebody. It just as long as they put in the work. Yeah. 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 And, and then sometimes I come yeah. up with shit that don't work for me, but it worked for it another worked person. For just like this email situation, it could work for anybody. In fact. If they like your music, they will buy it. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And it's a dollar. Anybody, if they like, if they like you, they'll buy a period. That too. Yeah. Yeah. Almost just, everybody got yourself. one dollar. Fact. Don't come to me saying, like for one, for one, when I'm at the gas station, don't tell, don't ask me as a grown man, can I pump your gas? No, man, I'm a grown man. <laughs> you feel me? Like, Facts. bro, like what makes you think that I want that you to pump my up. gas? <laughs> Right, you know exactly. Give my own motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, like nigga, I'm, you know what I mean? Like I don't want you touching nothing over here. Mm -hmm. I don't want you looking in my car. Yeah, that that grind, shit. that grind is for the young, young kids. Yeah, I mean, but young still, kids. even young, old, whoever the fuck, I don't care. I don't want you fucking with nothing. Because <laughs> <Yeah, nothing. laughs> you can might look in my car and see something you like. Yeah. And now, now I gotta handle your shit. You feel me? I don't want to have to go through that. One hundred. For so sure. now nah, I'm gonna leave my shit alone. <clears throat> I'm gonna pump it. Pump do my own shit. thing. Now, if you selling incense or some shit. We can talk, my nigga, but you're not going to go pump nothing over here. <laughs> he said you know that shit is over with. Yeah, you're not going to know, nowhere near visual, none of that shit. For you, sure. Like I said, you might you might see a, a $20 bill in the, in the cup holder and our lives on. You know what I mean? Like, if you broke enough, you're going to do some bullshit for that 20 No, nah, facts. You ain't lying. You know what I mean? You ain't lying. I'm just saying, that's just, that's just me, though. I be thinking, I think different. Like, I don't walk out the house with slides. You never know what you got to do. You feel me? You never know if you got to run. You never know if you got to fight. You never know nothing. You feel me? Okay. Oh, what's that? What's good, girl? Yo, yo, yo. What's good with y'all niggas? What up? What up? Hey, shit. Straight up, man. It's not a back of big, man. Get a little back. Man, I think I've been watching this shit. Appreciate you, King. Trying to get you together, man. You know what I mean? Doing your motherfucking thing in this bitch, man. I just had to. Man, for <laughs> sure. I, I appreciate the opportunity, man. I appreciate you reaching out, bro. Man, you already know what it is, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You're going to keep doing your thing, man. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker, uh, you know what I'm saying? The no video busting and shit as usual. Like, you can just, you can just be on some shit, my nigga. Like, respect, though. Like, 100. Like, salute. Niggas got to see that shit. Niggas got to see that. It's niggas that's really about that some real shit with this rap shit that I don't know fluke shit and I don't know fuck you feel what I'm saying 100 real real talk like, man like and I appreciate like that. that I appreciate you seeing the work and respecting it bro yeah, yeah. Call me every other day. I uh, listen here. That should be real. Yeah, yeah. Some niggas just don't want to want to call or visit. You know what I mean? Like some people do, some people don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know because I never been through it, so I don't know what I would feel. Me like. personally, you know that man? phone be the devil because it, you get a lot of bad news on that phone. I try to stay away from that yeah, phone. Yeah, man. Your bitch be fucking your friend. friend. I'm talking about all people type of dying, weird shit. People yeah. die. Yeah, that's yeah. How you get the worst news on that phone. I, I when I was like, I would try to stay, you know, keep my mind busy, go to school. You know, write my music, work out. You know, I, I just try to stay busy. You know, play little cards every now and then. But you stay, gotta stay away from that sometimes, yeah, too. You yeah, gotta stay away from people. Put your somebody about, about that shit, too. Yeah. Just play a game. Yeah, you know right. I mean? yeah. Yeah, but it's different there because ain't nobody got nothing. Yeah. All you got is with the little, the little the shit. Little that shit you, that's the little there. shit you find that's, that's fun on the outside mm -hmm. is the only thing you got on the inside. Yeah, man. And, and a lot, and, and like, a, a little Debbie go a long way in that bitch. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. A motherfucker, 
A motherfucker might you 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 give a nigga a couple little debbies a day, nigga. He, he gonna have to do he gonna have to do some dirt for you tomorrow. No, nah, for man. real, that shit is and, money in there. Well, I know. For That's real, what I said, I'm, I'm hip. I'm, nigga, I didn't I, I, I didn't been around a lot of niggas in that. I done rap for snacks. Shit, yeah. <laughs> I hate all my raps in that motherfucker. Yeah, right, for right. real. That's what's up. I'm an artist, and all I need is a pencil and a piece of paper. I can I can draw today. Let me out here. Every day, and, every and day you know what? They, they, them them niggas that make a lot of money too, motherfuckers. They know how to draw and shit like that. I know. I, I make make I make tattoos. Get the fuck away from me. Uh, <laughs> Leave me alone. Let me be me. That's how. That's how. You, that's your therapy. Listen, Listen, that's what my music was in there though. I I wrote, got got on my bunk, and niggas knew when I was writing. Leave me alone. Yeah. I ain't messing with nobody. I'm all about my bunk writing. I'm in the zone. That was my. That's my escape. And uh, now, as far as that, uh, I had. I, I, if I had to take a stay back vacation, I'm gonna have a candy store. I don't eat sweets. So Oh yeah. Niggas definitely do the two for ones hey, and that joint. It's hey, all any any is a I don't want to get too too deep in this little jail. Right. <laughs> but, but I do got a question, man, for the niggas who don't know what this means. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to get your box kicked? Oh, a longer box. No, 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 no. Let my man talk. He, he you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so it's it's getting took up top. It's getting took for your goodies. So <laughs> your box is your life is your box. Everything right. is in that box. Your 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 snacks. Your uh your purse. Your your legal mail. Your every, your life is in the box. You get your box kicked. Your, your life got took from you. Basically, <laughs> like, might as well just say that your life got took it from you, and. Your life get took in there. Niggas look at you a certain type of way. You don't do mm -hmm. something about it. Yeah. So, so I'm, only, I'm only I'm only saying that or bringing that up mm -hmm. is to help niggas that's watching because there's a lot of young dudes that do music and they they feel like smoking. It's weed. no place to be, man. Yeah, they they feel like smoking weed, drinking, and having a gun all in the same pick is cool. We they don't understand that it's a these case. niggas is getting watched. Yes, they, they get know, watched. Man. And then when they go uh, to the game, you doing it for them. I'm trying to tell them, this, the only reason why I'm bringing this shit up for these young niggas, so when they know, so when they actually do go for the butt, the boys, the little, the little petty like shit that they're doing. They, it, 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 but you know, they know, they know though, that. but you know the problem, they, 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 do, they doing drugs and they be out of their body. And then yeah. by the time they come down, not a reality set back in. So... <laughs> it's, it's, the dis right. it's the discipline. They got to find different, uh, different outlets. Like... People would rather invest in their destruction than they self investment. You know, they'd rather go buy a book. Uh, uh, they'd rather go buy some some uh, you know a drugs and shit, yeah. and then go get a book. You know, right. it's just the it's the mindset. The crazy part is you don't even need a book now. No, because it's all on Google. It's, yeah, that, but it's, it's, but it's, but it's what your phone used for. If you are if you already using it to just. Look on social media and look on everybody page. Then you are already using it for the wrong reason. Well, so it's your, it's your mind state. And I can see like I'm not easily swayed. So me, you know, people get that rabbit hole. They said maybe on their phone. no, for real. It I man, it happens to the best of us though. It it happened to me too. Yes. Your intent got to be that you looking for a I mean, certain type of shit, man. And that's what I be on. My feed wow. is mostly music and Cleveland stuff. Yeah, you gotta because have because I don't stop on none of that other stuff. And when they. I, I don't, I don't care. That's why on my page, it's like fighting and screaming. And yeah, I, on my I'm page, I, I'm I, I'm trying to like share like some informational posts, some spiritual posts, some funny shit. Like I, it, I be in all realms for real. Like I don't just try to keep it one demographic. I try ain't, to make sure. Ain't no wrong with a little entertainment. No, for sure. You know yeah, saying? got to. But my thing is like, like me personally, I make money off YouTube. Mm -hmm. Or oh, just off of reading little shit like. But you got to know when the like entertainment is propaganda, though. Yeah, yeah. When the shit is just literally just put out there to to, to get, get your to get your attention from something else happening. Yeah. Because a lot of that shit is going on. Oh, it's always right. something happening. It's always a smoke screen. Yeah. Cash but just for y'all young niggas. Sixteen rings. It was probably young young niggas. Something happened. Right. Just for y'all young Trump niggas. Donald Trump became man. president, nigga. <laughs> 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 they had to distract us somehow. Right. Nah, for real. Nah, but for the young dudes, man. You can make so much bread off YouTube, off the internet, off your phone. It's crazy. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even. I don't even want to tell you off of being how much I did off of YouTube. Oh no, man. they it, Bro, for I don't, real. I don't learn so much shit off that shit, man. It's crazy. What the young people can even learn is it is it them older people who be trying to get you to do stuff. Mm -hmm. They be trying to get you out the way. They be trying to. Not how you run the street. They try to give you something to do. They'll let you come mow the line for $10, $20. They'll 
They didn't have to ask you to do that. They just wanted to give you something to do. No, they said, is. But they, they cut it one time. Cut See, in my era. You know the older people, if you don't cut their grass three, four times, mm-hmm. you know who they expect to cut their grass. No, right? facts. Mm-hmm. But this young dude don't want to come back the fourth time. Uh, you know what? I cut grass. You I ain't going to lie. Cutting grass started my first pack. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be all the way out. Wow. I know, but the crazy part is, knowledge without process it ain't shit. It ain't. You, you, know, you got to have show you. I can tell you, like, for, for an example, when you brought up, hey, man, little homie, I need you to cut this grass from him. Let me give you $20. Mm-hmm. All right, that's $20 for the day. He's not thinking, oh, no, this is what I'm going to do to get some money every week. Right. Yeah, it's going to grow back. This one, <laughs> hit me out, though. Yes, he, the little homie know that. But the the big homie didn't express, look, I want you to come here every week, cut the grass, and give you $20 a week. Right. For just my and I'm gonna get my neighbor to go ahead and fuck with you, and you know now you got forty, mm-hmm. now you got sixty, you got three four yards, now you got eighty to one hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? No, nope, he didn't process that. All right, I'm gonna come over here and cut this grass every week. Right. Mm-hmm. Or you know what I'm saying? That's because the because old school wasn't clear with it. He just want you just. I mean, I understand now. It's a good thing that he trying to get a little homie out the way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Keep him out of trouble. Get some money in his pocket. But without you know, really know saying, being clear, like, yo, yeah. this is this the kind of shit that you should be doing, or this is how you should get some money legally, or whatever the case, you can make you $100 a week, couple yards, mm-hmm. boom, boom, and go sit in the house, go get whatever you want, buy you, buy you some jays after two weeks, or whatever it case, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's that, that's the only reason why I said, if they're not processing it, then they're not really going, they're not, they're they're not they, they, that's not there for them. They just doing it because old school ass and they gave me $20. Right. Pretty much. That's just my opinion on, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I te- when I show something or tell something to somebody, it don't matter if you old, young, my age, whatever. I'm telling you this because, look, this is how I'm doing it or this is how you can do it. Or this Pick your own way of doing do it. This. But this is an option for you. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead, finish what you were saying. I was just trying to get my point but out. But on, on the flip side is that some of them, it, telling them that way that you explained it out and tell them how this can flip, put you on to the neighbor, if they just stole somebody's purse, they ain't trying to hear that. Not because they ain't got nothing. Just, they ain't got nothing. They, 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 they stole that purse. one lady purse, and she she got $300 in her purse. You know how many lines they're going to cut to get the $300? They're going to be like, man, but I'm going to go steal purse. You know how many lines they cut without thinking about stealing somebody's purse? You know how long it's gonna take them to even steal somebody first? Because they cut long. He said he used the pack. Uh, he used the lawn more to get he a pack. He hustled to get it. He used the lawn more to get a pack. He I didn't, I didn't take it. it from nobody. He hustled I used to get it. I used it was an honest way to get my <laughs> pack money. <laughs> you know how I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I was an honest investment for myself as a young entrepreneur. Probably the wrong way, but I was my mind was in the right place. But see, crackheads, I was more doing it for drugs. And they was doing it for cheaper than me. So I, they took all my customers. I had like a network. My grandmother put me on they, this They lady. taught you something though, but you just didn't grasp the, the, the Yeah, the, I did. The I'm cutting grass and selling them dope. That's what he <laughs> taught but, me. But what I'm saying, but you didn't process. You didn't process the didn't business process, aspect of it. Why, why would you worry about <laughs> them lines when you got to cross the street they ain't even fucking with? You. They yeah. took all. I, or I, do it I, cheaper. I, I had established. That's, that's the business I aspect of it. I tried to do it cheaper. Then, they had their own lawnmowers and gas, and they doing it for $5. Because oh, they invested. They did. But the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, well, baby, you know what I'm saying? I guess you can see. Oh, well, I'm. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you know that, but, that, that tone tone boy? Hey, the thing is, though, that caused you to sell, though. Or whatever. Yeah, they took all my little hustles. And and it wasn't even that. It was You didn't know no other way. No other way though. Not that it wasn't another way. You didn't know another way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, cause like why why would you teach me to do some shit you already got going and you ain't got nothing for me to do? Like you ain't got no way to make me make no bread, but you told me, okay, cut lines, you can get this much money. Mm -hmm. But now you undercut me, you getting half of what you told me I could get. And I can, and if I go half of what you got, then I ain't getting shit. I'm, like, I'm, I'm basically breaking even. I'm just Facts. doing this shit for charity. Facts. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. 
I'm just saying though. You gotta like, switch the hustle. But my thing is, these older niggas, a lot of these older niggas are out for self. And, and that's, that's just to be I'm, all the way real. Like ain't 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 too many people really trying to give you no game for real. And I I'm thinking about this when I came up too, like you know, looking at a lot of the older niggas that got money and all that. And even now, like you know, they came home and like yeah, it's cool, y'all got shit going on, but y'all ain't get y'all ain't getting niggas no real game for real. You still trying to be the nigga on the toe and pole because you still trying to live up to a certain type of name, but you really ain't helping nobody. Prosper in no type of way. You only trying to help yourself. Right. No. Like, well, I they didn't really give <clears throat> game, but I got game from watching them. Oh, here niggas, mm -hmm. dude. I'm I'm 17, 18. You 35. Fuck what you talking about. I ain't trying to listen to do, do nothing you doing because I'm not trying to be here till I'm 35. For sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like people that had like maybe like the game on how to sell clothes or something, and maybe some uh, somebody under them they got an idea they want they won't they won't teach it. Yeah, they won't they won't teach it. They won't teach them how to do it. Just cause they feel like they want to be the person on the tone pro, but for real that block your blessings like that. But people don't understand a universal law like that either. Everybody is programmed on a on a selfish programming. Yeah, and then until and just cause you brought that up, my bad. I don't mean cut you off. No, look. I was I, I I done told plenty of people this. It's okay to be selfish. And, and I yeah, before you sound, help anybody sounds, else, it no, it is. Crazy. And no, no, some people, like, you, they, they, you're right. When I say it to some people, they look at me like, "What the fuck is you talking about?" No, you do have to be. You got to be some kind of selfish. You got to have some kind of selfishness. Because for one, you you the only person that honestly wakes yourself up, put your feet on the ground, put your pants on. Got to love ass. self. You do for you sure. do this for you. Fact. Before you go anywhere, do anything for anybody right. else. Right. You got to wake up first. You got to help you. When, you I say, say, when, I, when I say when I say that's what I when I say selfish, like you eating. Yeah. And you you got this shit going, but be, because you feel like you want to be the person on the totem pole, you won't share the sauce. Right, exactly. You supposed to even if you sell it, sell the game. You Don't hold it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's sell the game. cycle for a reason. Look, the sauce. I'm gonna get you the sauce. Hopefully, you make the sauce. Man, I'm niggas be want to act like this shit. Asian China secret. If I don't get it, I don't, get it. Now, I don't look, care. Let me, but get, let me give you the perfect example. You are teaching your sons how to do the shit you do. Trying to, <laughs> but my thing is, you still doing it. Fact. It ain't like you gave up on them. Even even it could be one one of one of each of them be good at one certain thing, you know what I'm saying? Because one of like everybody ain't gonna be good at all of it, or even want to do it. One one of them might just want to hold a camera. One of them mm -hmm. might want to do audio. One of them might want to do interviews. Everybody got their own position depending on who yeah. you are. Like me, you know what I'm saying? When I first ever did a podcast like eight years ago, like me actually having my own show, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I didn't even know if I wanted to do it. I really honestly didn't want to do it. I didn't know. I didn't go to it mostly because I didn't know what I was doing. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And then when I when I got into it, it grew into it, started knowing what to do and started getting comfortable with it. It took about a, a solid year to really get comfortable and really know somewhat of what I'm doing. Yeah, what you what you want to be doing. Yeah. And then when about the second year is really when I got comfortable and knew how to, you know what I'm saying, go about it. And then that third year was that subject matter and <clears> all <throat> that kind of shit. Like, it just evolved over time because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. It was just, it was a new thing for me. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm on a camera, I'm on a microphone, and I'm talking. I'm not rapping or nothing like that. You right. feel me? So I, and then I got two right. hours. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with content. Yes. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. it's crazy, and 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 but what? And I'm only Ain't saying nobody give you the game though. It, you so all you have to do is just map the person, it out. The person mm -hmm. that I was doing the podcast with, or for, or his business, he mm -hmm. taught me a lot of this shit. For sure. You feel what I'm saying? Because if I didn't know, if I didn't do that today, I wouldn't be here talking on nobody else's podcast confidently. Fact. You feel what I'm saying? Fact. Like I would be like, nah, man, I'm cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I do do that, because for one, it's not because I don't want to, it's because it's not mine, and it's, I'd rather the person who, the people's, whose stuff it is, get their, get their shine, yeah, get their due diligence, they shine that they're supposed to get, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm not trying to, and that's one thing I like about Ray, and, cause I, I'm that type of person, if it's your show, I'm not gonna try to, 
They be extra. Yeah. Be digging your video. This is, mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, the number one thing I hate, and this goes for music and everything. Why don't you do it like this? You should do it like that. Like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> I will take a, you know what I'm saying? Your 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 opinion, your opinion. And observation, or right. whatever the case. I take criticism, all that. But don't force me to do something you think is gonna work for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's good. I'm in the lane. This, this, don't nobody, it ain't no lane. Whatever I do. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's, it's, what, that's the purpose of a can, podcast. Can. To do what you want right. to do and people like right. what you, you doing. Can. You feel what I'm saying? That's the purpose of it's it. Just be, just be you. And they know that I'm going to But, but I, know, I know that's kind of irritating when you're doing music and shit. Like when you're doing performance and and, and in the studio or whatever now when you're doing something that when somebody come to you and say something that makes sense and you agree <clears> with cool mm -hmm. but the, the crazy part is they 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 dislike when you don't like or don't want to do what they suggested right right and it's like all right well thank you but i'm not here but no thanks you know what I'm <laughs> i don't want to do it appreciate that you but i mean it's it probably works for somebody else and it's a good idea and i, I thank you for that for that but I don't want to do it. This is not my aim for this, for this particular. Oh, now you after for whatever. Funny. Right. Yeah, yeah now, now I'm Hollywood. Funny. Now I'm acting funny. Now I'm I'm all this other shit that you 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 trying to you trying to push off on me. That's definitely not what it is. I got something I'm working on. For like sure. you're not gonna tell a basketball player how to shoot a three and you know you never play in the NBA. Oh, these do people will. <laughs> right though. Right. Yeah. Everybody like, how many how many NBA players gonna listen to these motherfuckers? Facts. These my career ass niggas, they living life through some simulation. No, you they, funny. He said he's my career ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's they, funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they gangsters who ain't never really did nothing. They hoopers who they got all the game. Who you paid this? The dudes in my, my yard. So you can beat the three dudes that come play at your house. That make you good? Mm -hmm. Go to the rent. No, oh, they ain't ready for... You right. not good. Yeah, that's the thing, man. People <laughs> make excuses for, for being progressive, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and that's just like it's fear. That's, that's it's, why it's be an embedded fear. Yeah, that's why a lot of people don't don't make. That's why people don't make it. They don't how much? It. How much? Fear of being successful. Fear of the failure. No, how much it's fear? Put, fear puts you in a box. Just, when we was young, we was fearless. The stuff we was doing was probably gonna get us killed. All of us have had get, some type we of fear knew. Of something, even if it was just you, you not trying to disrespect. Man, they they, they didn't program. Court. They programmed something. fear in us. Yeah, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? And 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 <laughs> the crazy part is the shit that some people should be fearing. They don't. These motherfuckers don't. Exactly. All. You know what I'm saying? Like no facts. Like okay, for for 120 for miles an hour up St. Clair, running through lights. You should be fearful. Yeah. But they not. They not. <laughs> <laughs> he, he funny. <laughs> no, for real though. For real though. But like like say like. Like when I when I first ever performed my first time, I don't even remember what year it was, but it was about fifteen years ago. Mm -hmm. oh, it was somewhere about, around there. No, yeah. it was about fifteen. It was probably what oh. Would you believe six, the first time maybe? I performed was like a couple years ago? Yeah, you told me. I literally yeah, cause, like because because of the situation and mm -hmm. all that shit. Yep, yep. Because he was like, man, I, I think it was like your fourth or fifth performance. When I met you, because mm -hmm. he was like, "Shit, yeah, you won't believe. It. I just got out not too long ago, and I think because you've been out, been home for about four years now, right? Yeah, about three. Yeah, about three. Mm -hmm. three about three. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Yes, sir. I remember that. And don't be taking them state pay vacations. <laughs> no more. Uh, yeah. I know too much now for but, them to do anything like that to me again. Yeah. So, so your first, your very first first performance. Mm -hmm. What was what was it like? What was the feeling? What was the like the experience after? The, before the experience was okay i already know i'm raw right so i know i know like my bars was raw but to be honest i didn't i didn't know how to engage the crowd in real life like my very first i was like rapping like kind of, really like how you say it the niggas in the box just spitting through my love but i was in one box though i didn't jump off on stage or you know yeah. try to i mean sometimes you like say for this for this I, I didn't know i was supposed to like yeah. I said, my I first mean, you don't necessarily have to though. No, like, you don't. Like, you don't. Say like Jay Z, mm -hmm. he kind of a in the box type of nigga, mm -hmm. but his, his lyric is out the box. Yeah, like I mean, he does a little. But he bit of he had some people. He had some people bought him in the game, so he had a certain type of crowd. Yeah, I inc I incorporated the like going out to people, so. 
they can really hear what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> but even 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 if somebody brought you in the game or not, mm -hmm. your performance is what people like. Cause I, really? I didn't see, I didn't heard songs that I'm like, Man, I don't really like that song. Mm -hmm. But then I seen them performing, and, and I, now I like it. It's energy now too. I yeah, it's different. It. Yeah, I understand it now because yeah. of the way they performed it. Facts. They brought energy to like, the song. Like they made me mm -hmm. feel the song. Like mm -hmm. now, okay, I fuck with this song. Right. No, one hundred. Like, yeah, where this shit at? Let me listen to this. One hundred. You know what I'm saying? Now I understand where you came from with the song. Mm -hmm. Like, so, so when you when you first when you first did it, like, was it like fear? Was it like nervous? Was no, it like, I think I, don't know what I, I think, was doing or what? I, don't, I didn't know what I was doing because I've been spitting bars like forever, right? So it was kind of like I had a battle rap. Like performance, <laughs> right. if and that make any sense? Because you didn't have no experience at actually performing. Yeah, because all, all you did was really write, and then you kind of your performance was for snacks and shit in the in the, in the band. Right, you know what just rap. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, trading bars with people. So right. I didn't have a performance right, right, sort of. Yeah. I didn't have a performance swag. <laughs> so what's what's your what's your process of like? Preparing for a performance, like, do you got like, do you use a, uh, a hairbrush in the mirror, or like, what do you do? Oh, uh, is, is there anything that you? Uh, that's what? that's basically really it. I just kind of ride and listen to my music, like before I go. Um, I let the experience teach me, okay. if, if that makes you sense. It, you let it happen. Yeah, yeah. So so when I first you know started doing, I just knew like the more I do, it, the more better I'm gonna get. So I just got to keep performing. So that was that was my well you know my tonight story. I gotta you know what I'm saying the showcase tonight you know you all you always welcome for sure for sure you see I popped up at the well, other one for sure the team man same thing you know what I mean but, yes sir you know I, I have plenty of them all the way until the end of the year yes sir you know what I'm saying and once we hit November ish I'm gonna start working on the next year. No, I, I, I really want to sit down and incorporate some, some more shit with you, too, though. Because, like, I respect what you're doing. I respect the hustle and everything. Oh, oh yeah. And I'm coming up, too. I'm, you know, we, we're chopping. For sure. I don't, want to, I don't want to give these niggas no ideas. Right, right, right. <laughs> we're we stealing this shit. No, uh, facts. Since you've only really been performing through, how long you had that logo? I had a logo for a while now. Uh, I'd have probably had the logo. Uh... I done had the logo since probably about 2014. Cause I had I had a previous logo before this one. So I had a street I had a street government logo before that one. But I had that one since about like 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 2014. Okay, because like it I know it probably took a while for your logo to get in motion. But that was our original when we started in the one hundred. Like lightweight, didn't nobody really recognize us, but they saw that so much mm -hmm. that people start really be like, by the time people start looking for us, knowing who we was, we mm -hmm. had the headphones. But before it took that, because one day I was somewhere, yeah. it, I was having, you know, you'd be somewhere, you'd be like, is this really worth it? And the crazy part is, I was getting traction, like, this was like 2019. So I was getting trash, like selling the clothes and all that stuff. Like I just then started incorporate doing all that stuff because I've been doing the music for years, but I was messing with a lot of people that wasn't serious about it or they just didn't have no direction for real. So once I started really taking up the business aspect of it myself and start really like learning, like, you know, I'm like, well, shit, I just need to just move and look like an artist. So I need to do what they doing. So. 2019 was the first time I started incorporating the clothes with it and people started actually, you know, mm -hmm. seeing what it was. And then I went right back to jail again for a year with the, the, the uh, during the oh, pandemic. Yeah. So I, I didn't have a lot of, a lot of, you know, back, backtracks. But right now, though, I'm, I'm full fledged right now, though. I ain't got no cases so, or nothing. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm full steam ahead yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure, so, for sure. So, well, did you have a different rap name in the beginning? Was it, or was it I think style? I think I had like two, two different ones. Nope, I had I had one called A One Hitman Gangster. That was a long one. <laughs> yeah, that's long as fuck. And then I had and then I had the Golden Child. I was okay. rocking with that for a little minute. All right, all right. And hey, then I mean, ain't nothing wrong with a long name because no, I, I, I used to have a crazy ass name. Niggas used to tell me all the time. I used to change that shit. Yep. My very first name was the Polish Boy. The Polish Boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you changed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was on the bus. <laughs> but, you still rapping about the same shit you rapping about now? Yeah, I, no, yeah, I was on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> my, 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 my shit was geared toward 
fucking with women and shit. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Females yeah. and all that kind of shit. Oh, your uncle Lou yeah. shit. Yeah, 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 for sure. Was at, yeah. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I was every now and then rap some other shit, but I would never talk about I got big guns. No, nah, that wasn't was shit, right. shit, nigga. I don't what do that. I, I want to fuck. Nigga. What? Man, what? You know what I mean? Like, that's the type of shit I was on. And he used to blow the bag. Yeah, that's what he you know rapped about. I used to, smoke, I used to rap about smoking weed, fucking hoes. That was it. That's it. One hundred, you know what I'm saying? And I, that Typical was, that West Side was Side song. That was, that was me. You know? I, was, I was that that type of nigga. I don't, I don't. I'm not the nigga that go rob you. I'm not the nigga that won't steal nothing, steal nothing from you. Uh, take shit. I ain't D ball. I'm not about to. That's not me. I'm not. I'm not no no felon. I ain't no. I, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, I didn't. I didn't. I've never did time. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, be somebody I'm not. 100. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And. And that's probably why some people didn't fuck with me back then in the very beginning. Because all I talked about was fucking bitches and, and smoking weed. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had songs people fuck with. I, after a while, I got better at rapping because, you know what I'm saying? I know I wasn't the greatest rapper in the beginning, you feel me? For sure. But once I started really getting serious about it, people started fucking with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm, I'm never going to tell you I'm the greatest or I was the best nigga or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying? I, 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 I was what I was. You fuck with it, you didn't. I don't you care. You say it is what it is. Sure. You know what I'm saying? But I had some shit people fuck with and some shit people was like, mm-hmm. it's all right. And, and guess what? I was cool with it. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, everybody ain't going to like everything. Right. I mm-hmm. wasn't, I wasn't, if you don't like it, then I wasn't making it for you. Exactly. Like, you know what like but sometimes, sometimes I like like that selfish. I'm going back to this selfish shit. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I didn't make it for nobody but me. And ain't nothing and, wrong and with that either. And the thing is, if it that was, was the, it was the purpose it, of this song. If I made it for me, it wasn't for nobody else. Fact. It's it's basically more of a, I, what I want to do for the next one. Mm-hmm. It's ideas building for the next thing. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. Like I was different with my shit. I didn't I didn't give a fuck if you liked it. It's not for for the public. You know what I'm saying? You know how I started writing music? I used to write like like comedy songs to songs that was already out. Yeah. Like silly little shit. That's how okay. I, that's how I started writing. Oh, you was going to be weird. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, and listen, I love the weird Al Yanker bitch. That he was funny as fuck yeah. to me as a kid. Like he, he did, made the best spoof song. He did. Everybody made spoof songs. He did. He did it. He did his thing on that. His was hard. All of them. All of them. They was verified. They was real songs. The, the people, songs who he fucked up, they let him do it. They, yeah. they gave him permission, permission to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I used, to, I used to say some really crazy shit, and people used to laugh. But that's what they liked about mm-hmm. that I said crazy shit. For sure. Like, it was that was your shit. brand. Yeah, it would be shit that I would say, and the niggas be like, man, you really said that shit, but it rhymed. <laughs> right. It made sense, or it was, I liked the song for whatever, whatever they liked it for. Sure. And that was what it was, you know what I'm saying? And shit, nigga, that's that's what what a lot, a lot of artists need to do nowadays, in my opinion, is that they should they need to make shit and take the criticism for what it is instead of being mad about somebody saying I don't like that song. Right. But shit, you got you should have another hundred, a hundred, uh, another hundred songs in the cut. Somebody gonna like one. Somebody gonna like something. Yeah. And, and, and like you said, something ain't for everybody. What would one person gonna like? Somebody else gonna yeah. like. It. Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure you have made probably two, three hundred songs before you got two hundred, two, two million views on the fucking YouTube. Most of do. You know what I'm saying? For sure. It's, it's always that one. All you need is one. One. Yeah. 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 And that's what happens to folks. I ran across a lot of people who they had hot ass songs that I like. They lose steam. Did I be looking for them? Yeah. Looking for them. But see, the problem with some of these people. Some of these artists, in my opinion, is that they get that notoriety, they get some kind of buzz, and they kick their feet up, and they let it die. Yeah. Now you got to work. Now you got to work back in. Right work. Get the buzz yeah. again. Now all I know is, oh, you, you made that one song five years ago. Man, that's why I try not to. I like I. I learned how to like celebrate myself because you got to. You looking confused. But go ahead, go ahead. but you 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 got to keep it moving like you. Like I said, yo, 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 yesterday wins don't make today. You gotta right, keep right. it going. Well, you look like you got oh, something to say. Cause you know I do too much, yeah. right? No, go ahead. I do yeah. too much. If, yeah. if if you see some one thing I did, I probably got a whole bunch of them before you even saw that whatever. That's, that was right. Facts. Yeah, fact. But my thing is, once once they see Dane does that one thing that I like, or he does that, like he should keep doing that, or he should do more of that. that one way. Yeah. That not just because it's not you. You're not one of them layoff niggas, but. <clears throat> or 
the fuck he been at. Right. You know what I'm saying? People his last, oh, his last in the post show was uh, a year ago. What the fuck going on? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because when I was doing podcasts and shit, niggas used to I was like, oh shit, I can miss one week and motherfucker like, shit, you ain't. What happened last week? They be like, they be like, what happened last week? I thought you had a show on on Thursday. Yeah, it had to cancel because of X, Y, Z, or whatever. People really be looking for this type of shit. Yes, they do. You know what I'm saying? Because people ask me today, hey, bro, you know, you, you, when, you, when you going back on that couple? When you start doing your podcast again? Oh, I'm working on it, man. I got, I got so much shit, I can't just... Yeah, because... You, you, you know what I'm saying? Right. That, when you was doing that, it was a lane. When that closed, you opened up another lane. Yeah, I, can't I mean, just I stop. don't stop, bro. I can't. And the, the crazy right. part is, like, I, I've never really needed a logo for my name. You know what I'm saying? Cause for one, when I when my name is is so unique that motherfuckers was just oh, okay. That shit, I like that shit mm-hmm. that, because it was just Ray Shark at, at one point, and then it became Ray Dust Shark with mm-hmm. the DA in the middle. You feel what I'm saying? But either way, it's still the same. Yeah, and then a lot, a lot of people was like, oh, that I like the way you flipped that Ray Shark because there's actually Ray Sharks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like actual <laughs> creatures. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So. It was just the name flip, and then people used to call me a shark anyway in high school when I was on the swim team. People don't know that. That's but sure. I was on the swim team. That's what's and then saying. people was like, man, like I'm swimming like sharks and shit, and then they started calling me that. Like you don't swim. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they like you to think. I, well, I, I can swim I back to the boat. and shit, bro. <laughs> I can swim back to the boat. Uh, I can swim back to the... Yeah. No, I, I can't had, swim for shit. I, I had about 12 minutes, bro. And like two I can swim. I can't swim for shit. But I can't swim. Shit nah, but it's, it's, I can't even float. It's because, it's because black people have bad, bad experience with waters and boats, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just> saying, <laughs> man. Facts, though. <laughs> yeah. water, water and boats. I'm cool on that. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny <laughs> as hell. <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you they can't put us on no boats and send us back. Nah. A lot of us was here already. Yeah, I mean, well, they can't send the ones back that they still got. right. Yeah, because a lot of a lot of us wasn't from Africa. They, native, right, native, native, native. It was native. native. Yeah, but indigenous people, indigenous, yeah, 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 indigenous native. Same, same, same meaning yes, or sir. difference, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you got any upcoming shows? Anything? Any upcoming? Man, he got he got a show at seven thirty. Uh, Nine o'clock. I mean, like any kind of shows, it can be a. Because I, I, I see you be whatever. popping. You, you, I, you uh, in my feed. I got, a, I got a show on the twenty fourth of September. Oh, yeah, I got one with, on with, uh, with uh, uh, Richie Carlisle. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got one on the twenty third too. On the twenty third, yeah, for sure, for sure. Fuck with you. For sure, for sure. Uh, boys, the, you know where's the event, with Richie Carlisle? It's gonna be at the exotic. I know where it's at. Yeah, most likely the exotic. That's a Sunday, right? Is it a Sunday? I believe the twenty fourth. Is that a Sunday? I, oh, let me make sure. I think so. Though. Yeah, <clears> um, it might be. We we just we just started putting it together. Oh, so y'all you you and you are y'all in it together? Like you join it with them, or you just no? I'm just a, just a part of it. Okay. Mm-hmm. He got he got some. Yeah, it's a Sunday, otherwise. September twenty fourth. Yeah, because I I remember mine was on the twenty third. Okay. And I have a actually. I got October 13th at the Exotic Cuisine, Friday the 13th. I got that going too. But I got other shit in between. Friday, we ain't going to get it all. The, right. Friday the 13th of what month? October. Oh, October. I'm like, yeah. that ain't, I'm like, my no, birthday ain't the, over. That's, that, I, that's, that, that's what I was thinking. That, my that, birthday ain't Friday. Yeah, that, 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 that's, <laughs> that's, that's month on the 14th. You, Friday the 13th? The my birthday's been on the th- uh, Friday the 13th. A few of them. Mm-hmm. No, but yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a cold one right there, Friday the thirteenth, you know. For sure. But September twenty third is my next uh tonight and then September twenty third. September, yep. So tonight is Crown Week and we're gonna be in that bitch going hard. And lately they've been they, 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 about to that joint too. Lately they've been turning up though. Like we didn't had we didn't had a nice crowd in like two no, in the morning. That, that's, that yeah, shit. you keep a crowd. That's yeah. one thing I say, you keep a crowd. <laughs> you know yeah. On some on some other shit with this the event we went with Tooth the Brain and whatever, I lost my wallet. But I oh. rolled past. You find it? Uh, somebody found it and gave it to me. Okay. But, good uh, shit. and on some good shit. Thank you. For sure. Oh, money was still in it, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's real. This, this That's the, real. I was, I was, Say thank you, God. I was <laughs> cool enough to just, just let me get my wallet and my, my license and stuff in it back. I'm cool. Yeah, because that shit. Because, because, 
got we live in Cleveland. And all kind of shit. And right. yeah. how could I? You know what I'm saying? You said, you I mean, I'm just real ignorant money. just to expect everything to still be in my wallet. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I got it back with everything, and I really appreciate that. But yeah, was as we was rolling by, I was like, that motherfucker still jumping. Damn. <laughs> Damn. It was like one yeah. Oh, yeah. It was still jumping. Yeah. I, I, was, you know I mean, because you, know you know how artists here or just people here, and once you get like one. 30 ish, almost two mm-hmm. people want to leave and go do mm-hmm. whatever they're gonna do, go home or whatever. They might be just pissy drunk already, they, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Know, but for some, hey, last show they stayed, they've been waiting for the season they one. Stayed. They can't, yeah. <laughs> like, it was more than usual, and then it yeah. wasn't even all artists, though. It was people that like they people were, or just people that was there and that just wanted sure. to be in the bar and shit. They stayed, though. It was at least 40 plus people in there. Mm-hmm. What I would have to say is. Experiencing your vibe is that these newer, I say newer shows, the people really actually come, they like it. They really listen yeah. to the music versus the difference. The difference between our, our our shows is that we actually try to cater to the artist performing in front of a crowd. And a lot of other people who throw shows only care about the performance slot fee. Right. Okay. Yeah, so the look, the anybody, look matters. Anybody the look can come up with the money right. for the performance slot fee. Yeah, so I don't, charge, I don't charge a performance slot fee. I just ask you to pay entry. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if I if I if I tell fifteen people to pay me fifty dollars to perform for eight minutes, and what well, I might have about twenty five people in there, right? And half of half or more of, of them is the people who pay to perform, right? You know what I'm saying? So instead of you giving me fifty dollars, you can bring somebody and save ten dollars. Yeah. But well, I go give them all the game though. Not, I'm not gonna get one hundred and eighty eight dollars. I was like, man, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's how what I do my business people, with. You know what I mean? How many so, people real for real can bring ten people? There's there's some. Like for example, I know I know this man can bring 10, 20 people. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like that that really like if they if they available on the day he did I I know they I know he can bring them. It's people that fuck with him like that. But what I'm saying it's other people like I got a little cousin. His name is uh, Rock Star. He spelled it with an H. The Rock with an H. And he had about twenty people. This is like his second maybe third show. He go to Cleveland State and he had about twenty people at the show for him last show. You know what I'm saying? And it's some people out here that can do it. It's just that it's just on how you drop or how you promote yourself yeah. is how what people gonna gravitate to you. Yeah. <clears throat> that's that's having tangible tickets too, that matter too. To go sell the tickets to the people. Yeah. But a lot I, of for some reason I've, I've 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 been doing good without selling tickets. A lot of people yeah. can't sell Cause tickets. It's it's because, like if you think about it man. Well your artist is bring bringing the people for you. So they yeah. Are, they come yeah. Yeah so like cause like the ticket thing is cool. I just it's like it's like selling dope kinda. You gotta run around the city to all parts of the city. Mm-hmm. West side, east side, south side, wherever, to sell tickets. Mm-hmm. Now imagine me, say I, I sell two two, three tick three tickets a day. I gotta I gotta get gas. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And then <clears throat> even if I don't do it that way, and I go I use Eventbrite or something. Now either I gotta pay the taxes, or I make them pay the taxes. Right, right, right. So either way it goes, somebody gotta pay these taxes for sure. So I know if it's supposed to be, if it's say we just gonna use the example of ten dollars. If it's supposed to be a ten dollar ticket, now that person has to pay fifteen just to get a ticket. Right, and it's promoted as ten. Right, or I just charge them ten, and I take a three four dollar loss. So now I only made like six bucks. Off of this ticket because I gotta pay taxes. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's just so tricky. Like you just gotta find what works for you. You know what I'm saying? Being a cat like me outside scamping because I find I got a whole bunch of free tickets. I can give me ten dollars and go on there. Yeah. <laughs> I just seen niggas do that, and then the tickets that have zero on there. <laughs> I'm like, man, this only got a price on the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now you want a ticket or not? <laughs> you go. I, I, look, no, I got a cousin, bro. Oh, he sold a ticket. He sold a ticket for a hundred dollars to somebody. I forgot what event it was. What it was. What it was about. It was. Free. It, was it was a zero charge on the ticket itself. <laughs> he got one. Say, Cardi, you slipping? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, you you hit niggas off the head for a hundred for this, and they got no. Where are these niggas supposed to sit at? One time somebody tried to sell me. <laughs> he said we did. He was trying to sell me some tickets they got to the free game. I know they just free tickets because my kid's school give me the same ticket. Right. You got zero on it. So no, they try to get Gucci. They come back. I already knew what I'm saying. On the ticket. No, I didn't go get them. I didn't go get them. I knew that. I knew what they was. Oh, okay. This is the day the you know they had the tickets they get kids send the kids home with them. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, I was talking about, I said, I was like, uh, why you in He's like, I ain't want to go to the gang. He was like, hey, you want to go to somebody? You want to go to the gang? I got some tickets for sale. No. No. I, I already know. You're not about to sell me no tickets to school, gay you. <laughs> right, though. <laughs> so, a little bit, because I know y'all y'all originally are a sports part of podcast. So, before I get, before we end it off, we got to talk a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit about some sports. Sure. Your prediction of the Browns this year. You asking me that? Because I was about asking. to ask that. Uh, I don't want to give no prediction. I just want to say. Or at least, like, what, <laughs> what you think? I mean, it don't got to be a prediction, but what, what's, what you think about how they going? I mean, I think, I, think we, I think we probably have a good set of gentlemen, but they they still have to learn each other. So, I, I, I don't know. I'm, hey, Nate. I'm 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 like I'm lightweight kind of blowing this year off for real. You, you, you just I, I'm confidence this year. I don't lie to you. I don't know why, but I, I just got a little confidence this year. Just a little bit. I, I believe we're gonna make. I believe we're gonna make. If, if we make the playoffs, we're gonna probably win two playoff games. Two playoff games. Depending on who's in the playoffs. Mm. That's how much confidence I got in me. I'm just shooting for the playoffs. Whatever they do after that. No, Same because you, for one, you got to do better than Baker. You can't just win one playoff game. Yeah. Cause B- Baker Baker been I think he's a roller coaster, bro. <laughs> he's like a roller coaster. Ever since that one little win with Cleveland, that little one little playoff win, nigga, that's the only thing Cleveland got to say, got to talk about is Baker took us to a playoff win. Baker didn't take us nowhere. He just threw the ball while uh, but, but what I'm saying he is just threw the ball need, while Nick We Chubbs need we need there. something besides a Baker story. And Deshaun Watson getting jacked off. That's all. We need something different than that. my phone and die. Just as long as he don't show up with no Versace problems in Cleveland, he could. Cool. Nah, I'm just saying, man, we need something Cause different. Because he don't go down. Those two stories. He's damn this ain't, this, ain't, this ain't Texas where they where they big money and let you do whatever you want. You break the law and get to doing stupid shit here. Mm. <laughs> they will take you to jail. No, but I, I got a little confidence, bro. I think that they're going to be... They're going to live up to the hype this year. In my Who's hype? The uh, reality like, hype or Cleveland's hype? Cleveland. We're going to Super no, Bowl. No, there are people outside of Cleveland. <laughs> no, listen, <laughs> no, listen there are some people outside of Cleveland, and it's not even Cleveland fans, and on Sports Talks uh, podcasts and, and, and shows, saying that they actually are saying that they are they could be Super Bowl contenders. Mm-hmm. But I'm not, putting mm-hmm. them, I'm not putting them in the Super Bowl. I'm just saying... That they can at least win two playoff games. Have you heard? The I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say if they go to the playoff, I'm gonna be happy. They do more than that. Have you heard the term clickbait? Yep, that's yeah. what that shit is. But, clickbait. But, but it say, it, it, yes, it could be. It could be clickbait, and it could actually could be true in they in their eyes, some of the eyes. But what I'm saying is, I think that they can win two playoff games. Do we got the personnel? Yeah. Is the coaching going to pan up? I don't First know. Of all, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, we need to we'll do see. something about the kickers. We got a whole new kicker, bro. All right. And we got one on the practice squad. <laughs> He's so a whole new kicker. got a bag up, nigga. <laughs> that, that lad. Yeah. Hey, listen, Ooh. I still watch him. So I'm still I'm watching him. I, I still well, watch him, man. Well, well, watch, watch for me. I don't watch the Browns. I'll watch him. I'm watching watch watch every this, game. My this, mama, I'm a diehard fan, This is my. This is my <laughs> I'm a Browns fan. And I done heard more, heard about more of their wins than I done watched. I be watching. They be winning. I be watching. And I just be like, God hey, damn. They, they will brown it up for you, though. <laughs> they niggas will brown it. Yeah. So, I, I, like, I, I, I had uh, 
watch parties where I wasn't even watching the wasn't even watching the game. I was outside kicking it. What, what's up? You thought man, I want them to win. I'm out here. I'm going <laughs> It was just about 14. What the fuck is y'all doing? Let me go back outside. <laughs> 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 hey, that should be crazy, man. I hate it be feeling like that sometimes. Man. New age cardiac yeah. kids. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, just, just let me. I, I, I'm <laughs> satisfied with hearing about the win. <laughs> I done heard about far more wins. He heard, he don't even want to look at it no more. Yeah, that <laughs> he didn't want to hear about it. Man. Right. That shit was a disaster. You put it on a, a backup quarterback. Mm. That needed to 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 do some starting shit, like he wasn't he he was scared the whole season, bro. Yeah, man. All he did was he he did not take the chances that he should have. Cause I've seen I've seen a lot of open plays he could have made, but he was so he was so he protected the ball so much that he didn't even want to take that chance. And it was just like, dude, we losing because you're not taking chances, right? Like maybe if like he did he did good for what it was, game management. That was that was it, and that's what they said he was good at game management. <laughs> and that was that was about the only thing he can do. And that is it. And um, <clears throat> but without them risks, there's no reward. And he, he did saw not, what he his predecessor. Know. What happened every time his predecessor, who was supposed to be a game manager, took a risk. Well, we ain't we ain't have his predecessor. We had him, <laughs> so now we don't. And he, he is playing for the Commanders now, I believe. Yeah, and he, he's a backup there, right? Uh, I mean, of course, but he he tried. <laughs> he said he tried. He tried. <laughs> I believe he's back up there. I don't know who to start him. I don't really care either, though, because they not they not us. So the Commanders. <laughs> I don't know, treat Mr. No, they, they, Johnson's they, team they, like they, that. They, they best That's Mr. Johnson's team. They was doing, they was doing Johnson got a baseball season. team, a football team, a basketball. That he missed the sports, Magic Johnson. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That he get that money. He, he getting yeah. that money. And Moog, he split that six billion with that white man. He, yeah, he getting that shit. Moog. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Who he space, uh, split that with? I forgot the dude's name. It was some know. white dude. And, uh, Cause he ain't the, he not the he only never soul. He, he, he partial of 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 what the the commanders oh the commanders yeah. Yeah. oh damn yeah, yeah. He just, uh, and yeah. I'm trying to find out what happened that uh the um the Williams sisters were supposed to be finding the uh the Miami Dolphins is they yeah that'd be the look yeah. for sure I mean sure. they try to diversify their income they need to okay, so so another they thing. they ain't on that tennis court no more Jalen Brown the, they, they got to make sense oh, yeah. now Jalen Brown played the big three yeah. yeah. They uh they all star game. Yep. Yeah. And because you remember we were talking about that one time. Man, Ice Cube, bro, I was fucking making yeah. that league. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was they, smart. They, they don't want that. The NBA don't want no parts of it because they claim that they're competition. Infringement. Yeah. Yeah. They say they're competition. And they they don't invest in competition. He's still considered the first black league uh basketball. Yeah. Yeah, but they they don't. It's see because lightweight what happened with football. The mm -hmm. a, the AFC and the NFC was NFL and the uh, American Football League mm -hmm. was the Negro League, mm -hmm. and because of the Browns and Jim Brown, they that's the only team that they really even took seriously, and but couldn't nobody beat them consistently, so NFL was like, if we don't do something. they gonna be look, that's, we, what, that's why we that's we gonna buy y'all we, we, we gonna out. buy y'all. That's why we get the boys. We, gonna, we, gonna buy, we gotta in order to get the Browns, we gotta buy all of y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Browns, we get we get fuck season. <laughs> they, 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 they look at they they schedule us like yeah, statistically. You see, you see the first yeah. four games? Yeah. They trying to they first four is three out of four in the right uh the, the right. division, the rivals. Yep. yep. <laughs> The girl you know said the first one is, uh, is the uh, toughest uh, games is your rival team, the team that know you. No, we, know, we know your cap. We know everything so you do. The good thing is we've been beating the shit out of Bengals every year so far. Just, just, just. Yeah, we. Yeah, we, we, we I don't know it. how. We are all losing. He said, "Oh yeah." You fuck around win this one because for one, the, your boy, not your boy, but old boy got a uh, calf strain or whatever. Uh, Burrow, Joe Burrow. So oh, he, he tried. He, he, he forced he, his he way back on the practice field, trying to keep. Yeah, he he he's saying he gonna be ready for week one. 
He practicing all kind of shit right now. All he did was practice. He, he fucked it up in practice, just running. And all he did, like, he was doing a light job. It wasn't even no a real. A light job. It wasn't uh, even no real. He, to, he, he was at he practice. The first half. He was at practice. He did a fake. He ran around and do a boot. And he was about to throw the ball and he failed. He gonna play the first half. He he only gonna play the first quarter. <laughs> <laughs> if he even make it that far, right? Because if I was him, you got Darius Smith and fucking Miles Garrett on each end, and and Darius Smith got what like ten sacks and like fifteen plus uh, quarterback pressures, and then you already know what Miles, Miles Garrett got coming. He got over, he got what, 16 <laughs> sacks? 15, 16 sacks? He's not going to be man. having them run the other direction. Get, he be having them get blindsided because they be trying to watch for him. No, mm -hmm. but see, that's why they did what they did on the D-line. Mm -hmm. They yeah. got some Darius Smith on the other side. Like, yeah. the other nigga, Clowney wasn't that. He wasn't what. He, he, was, he was on he the down. He wasn't down. all that. He was, just, he was just there to he cry. Was a name. He wasn't that. But my <laughs> thing is, you knew where you was going and who you was playing with. Why cry about it? Fact. Instead of just trying to capitalize on it. Because a lot of these players don't know the training camp. This is training camp. Right. You come here and you, no matter what our season has ever been looked like, well, my thing if you is, come here and do what you were supposed to be doing, no matter win, lose, and draw, when you leave, my thing is though, you go get. He, oh, was, he was already thirty. <laughs> yeah, he was already thirty when he got here. What what kind of training did this nigga need? <laughs> Maybe I'll uh, keep keep the weight off. That's about it. He already yeah. knows position. You already know. No, that nigga wasn't here to learn. Nigga. He 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 was just here because he ain't had nowhere else to go. We picked him up thinking this shit was a good pick, right. a good pickup. <clears throat> if for, he would have uh, played Austin. like it was a good pickup, that's been. what I'm saying. He was jealous. In my opinion, I don't know. I don't know the nigga, but he thinks. I think Brown, he was jealous of the, of the Miles Garrett success. Like nigga, you knew already knew Miles Garrett was here, right? And you, that's where you was going. You found out where you was going there. Why would I even be jealous? He's going to get double teamed, right? Fuck it, I'm gonna take advantage of his yeah. double team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I'm gonna be a rising star, and and, and this because right, for one, you was okay at. Uh, the Vikings, he was all right. He wasn't all that from from what I know. Because I mean, I'm not the biggest star. I'm not the biggest sports nigga. I don't know all of nigga. Everybody on every team. But I know when I, when I looked at his highlights, it was all right. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, nigga, we got it. No. But when I seen the Darius Smith shit, he a little bit under, he a little level under under uh, Miles Garrett. But, nigga, that's enough. Yeah, because they going to focus on Garrett. Yeah, and then when they and then, and, then, on him. and then when you got one of the D tackles in there, one of the D tackles, like because I don't know exactly who's going to start, but they got some nice D tackles. They got one specifically that's going to really cause some shit, but they got some cool little D tackles, man. The little rookies that the the one they need to shore up that middle piece because every time they get they get to get to chase them niggas out the pocket, they run right up the middle like it's a. That's why the, that's what that's Open the, that's the linebackers that gotta handle that. Yeah, open lane, just the linebackers. Every trip, just every trip, yeah. <laughs> running up the middle. Hey, that's what hurt my feelings. But when, you got, when you got the D lines, the D tackles and shit, that's clogging up, the, clogging that up from niggas going straight up the middle. Then that's gonna help. Yeah, but, that's gonna help. Mm -hmm. But because our our offense suffers from the mistakes that the defense be making. They both make mistakes. I mean, but the offense suffers from because on strength that some of these dudes are supposed to be out three and out, but y'all let this dude just run the middle of the field for ten yards. <laughs> right, but you gotta remember this, man. Everybody's a paid professional. They're not always gonna be like on point. A motherfucker is gonna outdo you at some point in the game. For sure. Even if it's multiple times. Like they're all paid professionals. They get I, millions of dollars. I, really to do do, I, I do understand that and they are paid professionals. And I'm not a paid professional. I'm not even an amateur. <laughs> I'm not even a pro amateur. But I play football. <laughs> <laughs> and I prefer, I, prefer the defense, I prefer the defensive side. I like I, I do when, too. When I play football, I, I wanted to be a running back, but I just kept growing. I kept growing. I'm six one. You you bruh. 
<laughs> we gonna see you as soon as you get the ball. Yep. Right. So I, I did like defense better. Oh, defense is much better than everybody. Like, because one you. is like one is it's a, it's, it's 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 you still got responsibility, but it's less. You don't have to focus on scoring and catching it. No, you know, what I'm getting, he, they got a system that they supposed to follow. They know these routines. They know the plays. But I play a lot of street football, and they ain't no plan we go out there. But I can watch what's going on. Mm-hmm. I can watch what's going. They about to run the ball this way. I can that's, just see it. See, that's the thing. Defense, like I said, the responsibility is way less, in my opinion. Because one, you just got to stop the person with the ball. Right. That's it. Facts. You just, but just stop the ball. Just stop the ball. Movement. Someone that is is not. Skill is about knowing what's gonna happen. They try to swing it out to the side, but he can see he's not going. He know he know he's not gonna try to make it. He's not gonna make it to that side. So he's gonna try to find the first hole to open up. Well, I know that that's gonna that, go down like that. that so I'm looking see, for that first reason, hole to open up. I'm reason. behind them waiting for that first hole to open up because he know he can't make it to the outside. Just be looking at this situation. I can so, see. So that he's not ever, gonna make it to it. Some people ain't got the eyes. <laughs> So the only reason why I say that is because, like, when you when you are a, a running back, we're just going to use running back for an example. You ever play organized football? Mm-hmm. No? Damn. I know. Right. No, but I'm saying that. So, so the responsibility of a running back, when you call a certain play, say, like, a 63 lead, we're just going to call that a play. That means you have to run toward the left between the guard and the tackle. Yeah. When the hole, oh, and the guard, and the guard they, tackle they, job they, they is to block, open that up for you. Block in certain and ways on that hole. Back, and open up. The fullback or whoever is the lead block is the person that has has that first block so you get to the second level. Yeah. If you don't run up three the three hole, you're going to you sit on the bench. The whole play. You just fucked up the whole. You're going to sit on the bench unless you just do some amazing motherfucking Walter Payton shit. There's no way that they're going to let you. Just go up the wrong holes all the time. Like the only that, that that's that's why I say that the defense have less responsibility. Because for one, if I'm a deep tackle, all I gotta do is clog up the hole. Yeah. That's my job. Right. And tackle this nigga. Yeah. If I'm a linebacker, I watch the tailback or the fullback. Or whoever in the backfield is so all I gotta do is watch them. Keep behind whichever way they decide they can, oh he look and like there are him. some small responsibilities for that, like depending on what the defense is. Or the knowing, on or, or yeah, pits, knowing or where knowing mm-hmm. what's going on, this receiver about to come this way. As soon as you yeah. run that way, that's what they but, but you can't you can't get lost in that if you whatever like if I'm a if I'm a if I'm a, a linebacker, I can't get lost in this receiver doing right. whatever the fuck you're doing unless he line up in the and the spot, and I gotta cover him, yeah. and that's just that's where free safety or the the mic or the, the yeah a lot the they outside line they, they gotta, pull up yeah the outside line, but then, the that's line. why a lot of a lot of niggas make catches on us specifically because linebackers are fucking checking corn uh slot slot receivers and right. they, they first of all they they not they can't keep up with them exactly. <laughs> But you know, I'm just saying. Or I don't know that. I don't the know. other since he got you over here, somebody ran across where you should have been. She was too busy worrying about the wrong motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, <I'm wrong. laughs> right. But yeah. on that note, we're coming to an end. We're about to get ready to uh, wrap this up. We ain't got no outro, but you can shout out. Tell them where to find you at. What you do? Where is that? How to get with you? Your next show is on the 24th. 24th. Yes, yeah. it is. And I go by Stalin Macamillion, y'all. So that's S T A L I N and Macamillion M A C K A M I L L I O N, and that's on all platforms. Street Government the Movement. Salute the Inner Pop pro- uh, Podcast for having me here. And sh- let's go up. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it's doing. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ready Shark, Ready Shark for all IG or Ready Shark on. Facebook, I don't know if y'all use that. And then just come to my shows, man. That's your promoter's favorite promoter, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's that. I don't yeah. even I don't consider myself a promoter, but people do, so it is what it is. For I sure. appreciate it. I mean I, I consider myself as a uh just a host. As a lane, an open lane. Like I, I got options for you. For sure. You know what I'm I do more than just host in the world. I feel it because outside of the podcast, even though me and Chase podcast, I really consider myself a promoter because I'm the type of person that 
if you're doing something and I know that it's worth something, yeah. I'm going to tell I offer like DJ services too, you know what I'm saying, and hosting. I DJ like, wins. I will. <laughs> For sure, for sure. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm a hustler. That's what I am. Period. Straight, straight up and down. Straight short. He's going to promote your wedding and everything. Do yeah. the DJ, take the pictures. He, gonna, yeah. he got you. I got it. I got everything. Valet yeah. parking, too. No, I ain't. <laughs> I'll, I'll be out in the front he with my jacket that. off. That's, that's that. <laughs> I ain't parking no smugs. Because <laughs> I ain't got no money. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> right. right. Pretty much. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga ain't gonna give me no tip. <laughs> right. That's a Honda Accord. I used to do that shit, man. <laughs> when I used to work in the uh, airport and uh, I used to do sky capping and shit with mm. the wheelchairs and taking people bags and all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Real quick, man. I know this is, we was about to end it, but I had, you know, Dolan Light. Yeah. You know, hip Dolan Light. Yeah, he, he, yeah he, was, he was in a wheelchair. This was, in, you know, a couple years before he passed. Oh, for real? Yeah. And I didn't know who the fuck I had. You know what I'm saying? I'm a young nigga. I'm like 23, maybe? 22? Hell no. Boy, I you didn't know. not going to know about Dolomite. No, I'm going to say I'm 20 something. I'm young. I'm early 20s. I'm early 20s. Pretty much. Yeah. How many early 20s knew about Dolomite back then? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that was like 06 or some shit. Oh, I knew about Dolomite, not when he was supposed to know about Dolomite. Right. So, you know, I'm pushing I and he like, I knew about Dolomite because he used to have records. I started listening yeah. to records. I'm pushing, I'm pushing him. He, 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 he in the you know, Dolomite shit, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. He's like, hey, you don't know who I am, the homie. I said, I don't know, man, you look familiar. He's like, man, I'm Dolomite. Rudy Ray, I'm Dolomite. I'm like, oh, shit, for real? He's like, yeah, you know, blah, 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 you know whatever. So we talked, chopped it up and shit. Mm -hmm. Then by the time, you know, I get to I, I took this motherfucker from baggage claim all the way to Concourse D, and that's far as far. Oh. I don't know if you ever been to the airport in Concourse <laughs> yes. D, but you gotta go to a whole other side of the airport. Like, sure. You gotta go across. You gotta go across A, B, and C, <laughs> and then go across a whole other building to get to D. Like it's all the way out in wherever the fuck. Right. <laughs> so I'm pulling this nigga bags. I'm pushing this nigga with one hand, talking to him. I get there. This nigga pull out two dollars. Thank you, young man. I'm like, God damn it, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, man. <laughs> you done told me all this shit to give me $2. <laughs> <laughs> I don't act like that because Dolomite probably gave you his last $2. And he probably did. <laughs> but my thing is, it was just an experience for real. No, for sure. I've met a lot of legends, a lot of people, a lot of stars. You know what I'm saying? Like, I actually had, like, because now this, a lot of people can't say. I've held a conversation with Bon B. Like an actual regular conversation. For sure. Like we doing right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was a cool, I'm talking about one of the coolest motherfuckers I've ever met. Mm -hmm. You know what oh. I'm saying? On that note, my favorite song, I'm a, Scar I'm a Scarface fan. But my favorite song out of all the songs is Dollars. Reason, the, uh, I went to the Scarface meet and greet. They had sat down and kicked it with him, mm -hmm. talked with him. So he opened up his phone and he started spitting that verse. Now he was like, this song, you know what I'm saying? This is a little old school. Y'all you know yeah, probably ain't going to notice. But as I was saying, as he was, I know Scarface, so as he was saying, I was singing along with him. Mm -hmm. And he my, he was like, oh, you a fan? My wife was like, oh, yes. <laughs> he was a fan. Mm -hmm. sure. But on the script that he sat there without, basically, the acapella version of that song, mm -hmm. it made the song hit. Yeah, oh, that's what I was wow. saying earlier that's about sure. the performing thing. You know what I'm saying? That shit make people want to fuck with you. Nah, facts. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Facts. But yeah, though, know, so we is about to get up out of here, man. So we'll be, we'll be here all day and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So once again, man, thank you for tuning in to In The Post Podcast. Deserve. And uh, once again, you know, I feel that for my man, Gal. Had a Happy great time. Happy anniversary again. And my man, Stylin' McAmelly. Stylin' McAmelly. Y'all niggas got oh. shit right there. Deserve. With, you know with the don't let me forget this. Uh, this is to check to see if she she do. What she do. My wife told me to tell you that Jay Z, that the one with the Jay Z uh sample, that bitch smack. She like that. What the? Man. It got a uh, it's the the Tina Marie. She knows. The Jay -Z Out on a limb. Yeah, that, she that, that's that's the Jay Z sample. Oh, she called it the Jay Z sample. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. She, she was like, who was that? I'm like, say I'm on every song like, oh, that's what she said. <laughs> she was like, I was waiting for home to come, but I was. That's one hundred though. Yeah. I, I I appreciate that. That's she real. Me, I was like, "That's the dude from from the um real." Mm -hmm. She was like, "Oh, that's who go Tell him 
that I like that. Appreciate that, Queen. She don't, she don't do that a lot. No, that's real. She, I appreciate she, that. She only get compliments to people that she yeah. really. But she gon' she gon' hear like, for sure. It, for it's sure. one of those things. My wife, it's uh, she has this ability to tune shit the fuck out. I don't hear none of that shit. <laughs> like, that's women, man. No, it can be no, blasting no, music. My wife is still women though. She, oh, you said do. something? I've been talking for the last five minutes. Oh, oh yeah, oh. I can't even say this. I'm terrible with that. If I'm focused on something and you're trying to talk to me, like if my intent somewhere, I, I sometimes I be tunnel vision. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta call my name a few times. So I come out. I, my my focus is like, yeah. Mine always be on the swivel. I always be listening. I got a, a, a 18 year old, a 12 year old.